Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Mysteries and Oddities video. Alright, let's go ahead and let's continue this series here by doing an all new entry. This one yet again based on one of your newer suggestions. This one having to do with a fascinating link to an older video of mine, one that I talked about a couple of years back. It's fascinating when I look at the new suggestions and they realize how amazingly they link to some of my historic videos that I've done in the past. Always amazing whenever that happens. But yes, in this case, it has to do with a creature that apparently roams these United States. The mysterious night associated with it is the fact that how it could be here in the U.S. as opposed to, let's say, being in its mainly known country of Australia. And so because of it, I wanted to include it here as a separate video from the one that I've done in the past because there are some big differences between the two. More on that here in a minute. But otherwise, you're looking at a representation of it now. It's known as the phantom kangaroo and in this case it has to do with phantom kangaroos here in the united states so let's go ahead and let's talk about all that fascinating information associated with this mysterious wonder and then realize again what are the chances that these creatures are once again here in the united states first off i wanted to talk about the video that i was linking in the past and that's this one here so i have talked about the phantom kangaroo in the past it was around 2016 to be specific Specific, but it was a bit different. This was more on the cryptids and monsters side and it had to do with a mixture of paranormal stuff. This was actually a creature that was more on the lines of a ghostly creature who people have seen in certain parts of the world. So big difference, at least in a minute you'll know why, big difference between that one as opposed to the one I'm going to talk about here. But I'll include the link for it below if you haven't had a chance to check it out. These mixtape videos, I haven't done some in a long time. There were videos where I talked about cryptids and entities that didn't have too much subject matter to mention so I mixed them in together like two and one or maybe sometimes even three for one and then that way at least I could create one video altogether between all the creatures um, uh, within them in other words but otherwise I'll include the link for it below if you haven't had a chance to check it out please do so and then you'll see the two differences again this one though has to do with apparently a separate species of kangaroo here in the United States in other words a real life living breathing kangaroo something that you would classically see there in australia apparently this is an indigenous creature here and there's more reasons for it as to how it could be here altogether but otherwise it's known as the phantom kangaroo or the errands kangaroo and let's go ahead and let's talk about at least those sightings here amazingly enough these sightings have been around for quite some time apparently at the earliest known instance it was back in the late 1800s in fact it was starting around 1890 that people began seeing kangaroos here in the United States. Never knew this would be something I would ever talk about as a discussion, as a notion, but it's fascinating to realize that apparently from Minnesota to California, even to uh, Northeast, in this case New Jersey, and even down south to North Carolina, care, uh, these marsupials, these kangaroos, have been growing around here in the United States. There are reports of them fleeing people whenever, let's say, they, uh, people come across them in some foresty area. There are other reports apparently of people seeing them jump up between cars, like in this case, jumping from one side of the street to another, like getting from point A to point B from one force the area to the other side and then when that happens then they disappear in fact they jump so high that they actually jump over the cars themselves and so people get just a very very small snippet of of the encounter itself but from what these people state they see these creatures and because they know you know how a kangaroo looks like you know how it looks like i know how it looks like they have a very distinctive look associated to them that's where people state that no they saw the kangaroo it wasn't a deer it wasn't any other type of creature they saw these things around their area and then some of the sightings too even state that the kangaroos are for some cases like in the, um almost like startled some cases jumping up and almost like attacking people luckily there hasn't been too much of that it seems like these kangaroos are more smarter on that end they just uh jump and then move about and then quickly go someplace else just to ensure that they remain as elusive as possible which makes again complete sense considering how rare these creatures have been seen but yeah there's also some pictures that people have have taken very very briefly as well there was even a report that i saw 
where someone had hit an actual kangaroo. Talk about it, evidence right there. This poor kangaroo was apparently the victim of a hit and run. There it was, essentially just dead right on the road. But for whatever reason, that person who hit him uh, ran away. In other words, they drove away and were never seen again. And then the kangaroo's carcass in of itself was never found as well again. So in other words, that evidence that would have led to proof that yes, there are kangaroos, wild ones, in other words, here in the U.S., then that's where they'll happen. Now, there are some sanctuaries, I was reading that too, and there are some other places, some real wildlife places that actually hold kangaroos here in the U.S. Like those are legitimate. I don't know if there's any here in Texas. Someone might have to tell me if it's in your state, wherever you are in the United States, because that'd be quite a sight to see, you know, seeing something like that at least abound. But there's the idea that there's others who hold kangaroos. And here's where things get a little bit more um, real, like when it comes to the explanation for this, as far as why these kangaroos are here. Number one is that they're illegal. Like people have taken them as a species from Australia, illegally, of course, maybe somebody really, really rich that wanted to have that special animal within their collection, show them off to others, obviously something that they can't, you know, show to, to law enforcement. But either way, though, they wanted to at least have them in their captivity. And then these kangaroos escape. Um, you could imagine that you would have to have something like Jurassic Park type fence in order to make sure that these kangaroos are held together in one place and they don't escape. But some of them do. And then when that happens, that's why people have seen certain kangaroos going on and about. The other theory is that, and this is actually more fascinating on my end, there's the idea that these are an unknown species of marsupials. So in other words, the kangaroos that you and I know of there in Australia, those are one form of kangaroos here in the United States hundreds of years back maybe in thousands of years back there were these kangaroos that in of themselves lived here this entire time but as the um, western civilization moved in in this case going from the east to the west then the kangaroos were forced to relocate to other places but they've been there that entire time they've just remained unclassified and consider you know when I was scratching my head about this and thinking about it I thought to myself that makes sense imagine if there's an unknown species. We just haven't discovered them because there's so much, again, of this wildlife that's here in the United States, so many foresty areas that haven't had any human sights within them, like any people walking about and seeing these kangaroo and who knows how far along. You could easily think that there's these creatures, these random encounters with these creatures that just happen every now and then, but otherwise they've been there this entire time and they're that unclassified species. Great, great stuff. And then there's, of course, there's the more fantastical explanation as far as these wild kangaroos and that's the fact that they escaped from some kind of circus mated with other creatures became their own unique species altogether and so on so you got to take that fact too and then i was reading a fourth explanation and that had to do more with the phantom kangaroos like the ghostly ones that i was mentioning in my other video the link of again included below those are the ones that may also be the ones that you see now sometimes roaming about North America and then other parts of the U.S. as well. But otherwise, I think it's more on the lines of the first two. I truly do believe that you would have some people that would hold these creatures illegally and then somehow they escape altogether. Uh, one reads about them all the time. One reads on the news every now and then about certain um, monkeys that are brought over that people hold on to them, but then they get out of control and so they release them to the wild. And I've heard about other type of of exotic species as well as how that's happened to them and then also the idea that there's a long lost unclassified marsupial that's here in the u.s that 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 could be the explanation i think those are the two that truly stand out plus apparently there's over a hundred species of marsupials here in the u.s they're not kangaroos but they're still within the classification of a marsupial so the idea that you could have something like this a kangaroo existing and being able to survive here in the u.s there's solid proof of it through hundreds of other species 100 plus in other words so definitely the idea that that could happen with this creature is not far-fetched and that's why i truly believe also that it could be that unclassified creature 
altogether. But as far as, again, eyewitness accounts and then let alone people capturing them, that's where it gets really, really strange. The other difficult part is this, too. Those that have truly captured, I'm sorry, that's that, that have illegally held um, kangaroos here in the U.S., if they escaped, it's not like they're going to report this incident to any law enforcement because then they'll be in trouble, too. So that just adds more confusion to the matter and more mysteriousness as to where these creatures come from but yeah i was reading several instances of people one person in other words that was going about their backyard and then all of a sudden they startled a kangaroo they saw one there and in a, in a huff this thing was gone like it just completely disappeared altogether because they didn't want to be seen afterward and then another instance again about that car there was that incidence of this kangaroo jumping about jumping as as high or even higher than the actual top hood of the car itself and then there it was escaping out into the brush and then this person saw that encounter so i truly do believe after reading all this knowing none of this beforehand and now reading all this information today i do think that there are kangaroos out there in the u.s they could survive and then so that's why every now and then people will report to see them too so how about that as far as this uh, uh particular video here involving these wild kangaroos these phantom or errant kangaroos so if anyone has any more information anything else i might have missed then please post those comments below and anyone who happens to let's say know somebody that experienced these wild phantom errant kangaroos somewhere here in north america then please post those comments as well or if you know and heard stories about particular locations either some of those states that i mentioned earlier or maybe other places here in the u.s then please share below as well It'd be great to hear more personal experiences associated with that all right everybody thanks again as always take care bye